With all the different rooftop tents on the market nowadays, deciding which one is right for you can be a pretty tough decision. In my opinion, with all things considered, including price, this June rooftop tent from Anaconda can be pretty hard to beat. There's definitely better quality versions on the market, but they come with a much larger price tag that for some people just isn't affordable. So it comes in two different sizes and mine's the smaller of the two versions. So mine, when it's closed up, measures in at 2.2 meters long, 1.4 meters wide, and they advertise the height as 30 centimeters when it's closed. But I've measured mine packed up with all my bedding still inside, and it comes in at 26 centimeters, which is great news for me because it means it still fits in my garage nice and easy. So the main reason I chose this particular rooftop tent is for its quick and easy setup procedure. Basically, we just whip the cover off and it sets itself up. The cover itself is made of a high density PVC and is held on by a number of clips and straps around the edge of the tent. So the first step is to loosen all the straps and then undo all the clips around the edge. I normally leave these front four straps done up because when I take the cover off, I fold it forwards and it kind of sits here when the tent's in use. So once your cover's off, you can grab the ladder off the roof. Now just clip it in place up the top here and extend it down to the ground, keeping this angle as straight up and down as possible. Around the back, you'll find a strap in the middle, fastened to the tent by a rubber clasp. Pull down to unclip the strap and gently let the hydraulic struts set the tent up. So as far as bedding is concerned, the mattress up here is two meters long by 1.2 meters wide. Keep in mind there is that larger option available, which gives you about an extra 20 centimeters of width. That being said, most of my camping trips, it's just me up here. And for one person, there's heaps of room. I can have my bags up here and still sleep comfortably with plenty of room to spare. When me and my partner come camping together, we still find that there's enough room for both of us to sleep up here comfortably. It just means that there's no extra room to store our bags, so we normally just leave them downstairs in the canopy. Uh, you also get windows all around, which is awesome if you've camped somewhere with a view, which let's be honest, if you're camping, you're gonna have a pretty nice view. For airflow, you've got a couple of vents on the outside of the tent here with little Velcro straps that hold them, that hold them out. You get one on each side, and you also get a big vent in the roof of the tent. So one of my favorite features is this little weatherproof bag that folds down outside the front of the tent. And this can be used to store your muddy shoes in there so you don't have to bring them inside the tent and sleep with them. And don't worry if you're camping with your partner, you don't have to fight over this one bag because there's a whole other bag right over here so you've got your own one each. So packing up is just as easy. You just fold in your two air vents and then just lay the door across the bed. Next, head around the back, grab that same black strap and gently pull the tent closed. Once it's closed, secure the strap with the same rubber clip. Unclip and collapse the ladder from the front. For me, it works best starting from the top and working my way down like this. Now it's just a matter of chucking the ladder on top, folding the cover back over, and redoing all the straps. I hope this video has helped you decide if a rooftop tent like this is the right choice for you.